a bouncing chain. Mm hmm. That's what the people tell me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and they think it's reasonable. So I don't know what I want to make. I guess I have to spend all my money. I can't really make anything besides Dark Archons, though. And I guess spin lots. <laughs> That'll be fun. I like the spinning zealot. They're very, very good on the final mission of Legacy. Actually, now that I think about it, there's not actually any Banelings on this mission, are there? So the spin lots actually might be significantly better than they are on almost every other mission in the game. Due to that fact. That's weird. Well, let's give it a shot. Keep getting these. Yeah, exactly. Ice Raider understands correctly. Like, I'm supposed to go for an AoE comp. You told me to pick the Destroyer, which is not an AoE unit, so I'm not using it. Oh, uh, hi, YouTube. The thing that we gotta do is use the Dark Archon to mind control the Golden Armada. That's a challenge. Sorry, we got in a bit of a heated argument regarding exactly what area of effect can... You know what, YouTube? I need you guys in like a week or something to come to my defense in the comments. Let's talk about this. Is the AoE from a Destroyer more than the AoE from a... Uh, Watch me, Duder, from a Arbiter. Because the Arbiter has two area of effect abilities and the Destroyer has none. Chat thinks the Destroyer is the more area of effect thing. Alright guys, for every single one of you, it is now your job, once this VOD comes out, to go check and watch yourselves get roasted by the YouTube viewers. Because they are much more kind and caring and mature. Oh yeah, you're right. The Arbiter has three AoE abilities. That's a lot of AoE abilities. Three is the magic number. Humans like it. I can't wait. <laughs> so I automatically schedule all these uploads to the secondary channel like a week beforehand. And every once in a while I log into YouTube and there's like 35 comments because I said something that everyone's responding to, but I don't know what the context is anymore. And then I have to figure out what everybody on YouTube is talking about in my own comments section. It's a very surreal experience and I expect this to happen again. You can't be confused. I haven't cast confusion yet. It costs like 75 energy. Horzen didn't die, does she? Good, she's fine. Is using the most powerful ships against so here's the first golden armada. As painful as it will be, we have no choice but to destroy them. I mean, we do have a choice to not destroy them, Arcanus. He's actually just lying to us. Wait, do we have energy? We do. I think I can take one or two of these units this time. I'm gonna slow time. And that's the only mind control that I have available so far. Uh, Alarak can deal with that. I don't really care. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the Dark Archon does need some type of energy recharge. I think that in the campaign, all the Archons get that ability. Like Kydarian Amulet stuff. They just don't get it here.
You know, Temporal Field has really grown on me during this run. Just because I'm trying to avoid using the super overpowered abilities, it's better than I thought. It does a lot. I mean, if I had Solar Lance those guys, they would have been dead instead of stunned, which is uh, a pretty big difference. But still, they end up dead eventually. This vessel serves as a beacon for your hope. Your faith is misplaced. I still don't think the whirlwind zealots are good, and you're never going to be able to convince me of that, though. Gotta make sure that I have the ability to warp in next to my friends. And Alarak is still alive. He often dies during this one, so I am going to shield overcharge him. Make things a bit easier. I'm going to use one confusion. Oh, Alarak, we worked so hard. <gasps> and it war it was worth it. He's alive still. We didn't even have to put him in a box. Another fleet of ships set a course for the Keystone. They must be repelled. I probably should put him in a box, though. If I care about my Alarak, then that's best for him. Um, having a hard time getting my Archons into position. There we go. And now, finally, I have a Warp Prism. <laughs> oh, they're coming from that side already. Are you doing good? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're gonna delete that. So that's all the mind controls that I have. Weak uh, you're right that the Arbiter is technically a transport, but it's not at all an AOE unit, so I can't use it. That'd be against the law. So, sorry about that. I know that you're saying things that sound reasonable on paper, but there, the world is a confusing place. Does Karak's effect warp gate cooldown? Probably. I probably should have done that. Yeah, let's just get one next to him to make sure that I have infinity charges at all point in time. I should actually push out a mothership. Because it does have AoE. And it'd be worth having. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Alarak. Warriors, a stream of enemies will be upon us shortly. Stand firm, and we shall resist them. Stand firm. Oh no, they're gonna die. Let's micro them. Pick up micro. Oh yeah. There are banelings, aren't there? And how do we drop them off? Oh, that's a golden armada. That's much more important. Once again, I'm gonna freeze what I can. I'm going to shield overcharge to keep him alive, and then we got to get over here. I think Karax died. Which is, uh, inconvenient. This army is very slow. <laughs> Oh, Alarak's dead too. The primary entrance has been breached. The Tal'Darim have been overrun. Reinforce 
their position immediately. Yeah, Karak's died, and Taldorim are dead too. Guardians can't steal those. I have to pull these back though, so they don't get killed. Actually, spin lots are doing okay, and the guardians are going to go down. Let's try to help Alarak out. I'm going to leave the carriers over here, actually. They're very slow, so using them as stack defense, I think, is fine. Detecting multiple enemies on approach. They're attacking two entrances at once. How's Vorzun gonna do here? I never know about Vorzun because she's like really good and then I overestimate her and then she dies. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of help. She should be able to deal with this much. I hope that these spin lots actually end up carrying the game. Do I need... Do these take supply? No, they don't. Okay. What? Are you kidding? She lied? Or died? Oh, Vorzun. Wow, that is a lot of things. And Alarax Nexus is just in an inconvenient place. I am building a mothership. It's right here. Force from the Golden Armada inbound on the Keystone. Be prepared. It just takes a long time to build when Karax is dead. Can't steal the mothership. I can't figure out how to mind control this. There we go. I'm gonna lose. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm in a really bad position. I haven't lost on this mission in a really long time. Best. For the challenge, I'm just trying to make sure that I get the capital ships. I'll get the scouts and stuff if I can, but I think the capital ships are the most important. Make this universe as it should have been. Perfect. I think I want to confusion the reverse. Okay, okay. She's kind of rebuilding. He's diving here. Carriers are doing great up here. Oh, I was just about to use that. Good our carriers. Pretty good. Pretty good. This had 
Squid Fox? What is Squid Fox? Are we talking about Amon? Because, um, Amon's a manatee. I scientifically proved that in a video. Shouldn't it be manatee facts instead? Who's the squid? I can make manatee. I know more about manatees than I do about squids. So if you want me to be doing facts without looking at stuff, then I would prefer to do manatee facts. Which I think is what the paper says, right? And it's more appropriate to Amon, who is absolutely a manatee. Any form of marine life. I'm going to do manatee because it says it on the thing, and that's what I can do. Now I want to start, but I can't. I gotta wait. This is why you get the mothership, by the way. It has uh, 56 kills with no upgrades. Oh, thank you. A shining symbol of arrogance. Let your pride be your downfall. a lot of stuff. We gotta pull back so that they come forward. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Man, I wish my units were invisible with some type of area of effect cloaking ability. And then I could move quit my slow and clunky army with an area of effect transportation ability. But unfortunately, those are not area of effect abilities, so I couldn't have used them here, and it would have made my life so much nicer. If only there was a way. This is a lot of carriers, though. Pretty happy about that fact. Eighty-three percent. Eighty-three percent. We're getting there. Karax is looking pretty good at this point. Uh, I think it's like the 18 minute mark that Karax gets the Fire Colossus and starts building them, at which point he becomes way better. And can basically take care of himself for the rest of the game. Pretty sure this is way over 200 supply. I mean, it's, yes. It's 21 capital ships, which is uh, 6 times 21, which is 186 army supply right there. In addition to the rest of my army. Yep, now it's over 200 supply of just capital ships. And of course, the spin lots. Hierarch, I see an unending tide of Protoss signatures. He's sending every last one of the possessed Templar against the Keystone. 
We will hold Karax. We must. We must hold Karax. He gets so sad and lonely. Armada over here. Fealty unto the High Lord. Grab all of these. The keystone is approaching maximum energy output. Victory is nearly upon us. Do not wow, I've lost a lot of supply us. really quickly. No golden armada ships over here. Well, there are a couple scouts. Try to take them. Eh, didn't work. Here, guys, I'm building your favorite unit just for you. I think you should be happy. I'm building a destroyer. Look at it. Isn't it great? It's wonderful. It's going to come and it's going to save the day. Just for you. Except there's a problem. It's not an AoE unit. Get wrecked. Oh, crap. There we go. Well, that was a lot closer than I thought it'd be. All right, moving on to the epilogue. <laughs>